Hi people and hello my Chili Con Carnage crew, it's Chili here, the man who produces Iron For My Eyes, and I'm doing a 5 minute review on Atrophy's newest album, Asylum. A lot can happen in 3 decades. Politicians come and go, countries have been created, dictators can be disposed. Hell, the last time Atrophy made an album, the first Gulf War was underway. The first one. But what is a big shift in the three decades would be the music scene, ever evolving and taking new shape. Or at least, it would be the case. Except Atrophy are the band emerging from their DeLorean smoker bound and silver in the hair to show what thrash metal is all about. The 80s never died, it just went into hibernation until right now, and given some recent releases by other bands in this field, like Metal Church last year, then we do seem to be enjoying some kind of thrash metal resurgence like the new metal scene is. But I must point out, the latter is more to do with I guess newer bands incorporating it to their sound, having grown up on that, as opposed to the thrash metal one which is a whole bunch of old bands seeming to release new music. This thrash metal resurgence seems to be the old guard screaming a new mess and the message is clear. I'm not dead. Age shall not weary them, and the music on offer is an old school thrash attack, the likes of which haven't been heard of since the beacons of Gondor were lit. The music on offer is thrash metal to its core, no fucking around here, and if you know what the genre is, then congratulations, you're halfway there. Now you just have to listen to this goddamn record to bang your head. Beer is optional and often recommended to enhance your experience, but I must admit, I listened to the sober, but it was still enjoyable. Now at 34 years between records, this has to be some kind of record, but that record is actually held by Dean Gitter, who waited 57 years between releases. Instead this sits up amongst the Stooges with their 34 year gap between albums, but I am going to say that this still has to be one of the longest gaps between albums by any thrash metal band bar none. So I am not going to lie and pretend to know who the fuck these guys are. It seems they had two albums in the 80s and for whatever reason called it a day, but from what I can read the only original member left is the singer, Brian Zimmerman, so it begs the question without going into their back catalogue, and with such a long gap of course, and of course with such a long gap and no original guitarist, how true is the band to their original sound? I'm genuinely asking Atrophy fans out there for help answering this question, because while the tunes were pretty sick, how much remains true of course to the original Atrophy that is up to their namesake? Until further clarification, I would like to say that this album has been fun to listen to, and despite what the answer might be, it won't change my opinion on the record. Close My Eyes blends melody with aggression in an awesome way, while Seeds of Sorrow contains face melting riffs that would give Dragon Force fans a little chub. Admittedly, the Apostle sounds like the stone sour tracks on Amiga with its vocal intro, and also it quotes scripture in that song too, particularly the one on here that has been done to death. We get it, you are edgy for striking down thee. Well, here's my scripture to retort. You will eat it as you would a barley cake, and bake it over dried human excrement in their sights. Ezekiel 4.12 of course it has to be expected that there might be some subpar tracks on here, and I guess this one wasn't as strong. But don't let this one piece convince you not to hear this album, because if you are a connoisseur of your thrash metal, then you must seek this record immediately. Overall, I would give this album a score of 8.5 million chilies on the spicy scale, with my favourite tracks being Punishment For All, Seeds Of Sorrow, and Close My Eyes. Well, this has been fun. What say we return in 2058 for the follow-up album by the band, eh? Anyone? Bueller? If you've enjoyed this content, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to us, and stay notified for future music-related content, because it keeps our manager happy at the end of the day. We are also on Discord, Instagram, Facebook, and all those other social platforms if you want to check us out. As always, people, you have a great day, and stay spicy.